hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my videos on uber eats clone and this is the fifth video and here we are now going to bootstrap the applications we are building so we targeted that we are going to build a two front end application based on this architecture we decided that okay we are going to write next year server side rendered application and i also covering another playlist which talks about 12 years so I thought of exploring Svelte.js, Svelte kit for the restaurant uh, dashboard or for the restaurant owners. So we decided that we are going to expose a GraphQL gateway, GraphQL gateway should talk to auth service. And this particular auth service should be able to capture the data. I mean the login, authentication, refresh token, all the basic concepts, this auth service is going to manage. And then this gateway should be able to respond to our front end applications. Okay. So this is a plain and simple uh, architecture we have, but to achieve it end to end, what we need is we need a front end with a simple login, send a request to the GraphQL gateway and then gateway service should be able to talk to our authentication service. Authentication service should be able to fetch the data from the Postgres because we are building in-house authentication service. So that should be plain and simple, which is just a user management repository with the different roles. Because once user is logged in, we are going to generate a stateless token and that token contains a lot of information about the user, at least the role and user ID and the email or the phone number. Based on that token, you should be able to access any other uh, protected uh, APIs. So let's see how the, the flow looks like. What our target is first, let's talk about Next.js SSR application. Okay, once this is done, so this is the first step because this is the neat uh, application we are building for the end user. They should be able to log in. Then we need a GraphQL gateway. And what this gateway will do is, this gateway is going to talk to another services. Let's say I built auth service and this gateway will talk to a service which is exposing another graph. And the first time I'm going to put a videos on the GraphQL Federation Apollo GraphQL. What it does is, this is actually a tool which they have created and this tool is helping us to compose all the subgraphs and expose a single endpoint to our front end because we may have a restaurant dashboard, the, the, the end user application, the client dashboard and some other dashboards. What we want is we have a central login user management system. So we wanted to user to enter through this gateway, authenticate yourself, authorize yourself for the particular permissions you are looking for and then talk to the particular service. So all those things we are going to do with this authentication service. Okay, so the first piece is looking into our next GSR. That is simple type script we are going to use Tailwind and we are going to use GraphQL client which is also can be Apollo or any client you can use. These are the code library, we are using Tailwind for the UI and React Hook forms. To write the forms, different type of forms you are writing in the application. And this is all SSR, server side rendered application. So let's target to create a simple two routes first, login and sign up. Because we are building the, the pure authentication service and authentication system. So there are a lot of things came into the picture, you should be able to do login, Whenever you are doing this, we should be able to send the emails, but the email delivery part we can take a look later. And also request for the, right, because if your token gets expired, your API call starts showing, okay, you are, not, uh, you are not authenticated, it will take you to the login screen. But we can use this refresh token strategy, what it does is it will always give you the token and the refresh token. And once your token get expired and you get 403, then you can start using the refresh token and receive the, the brand new fresh access token. So this is kind of an independent service which you can do plug and play because this independent service can be plugged in anywhere in any other service ecosystem. So because this is going to be a simple microservice. Uh, and that will be in the Nest CS and it's a microservice which we are going to build in Nest CS and we'll be exposing the GraphQL queries and the mutation. Okay, 
Now another important part we discussed about is okay once user is logged in then what? If you are an end user you should start fetching the data from the restaurant service right restaurant means uh, I'm living in uh, Delhi and I started uh, getting the data of all the restaurants around my region so we should be able to capture your current location either you enter it for or we capture it from the browser or you manually search for a particular location and based on that we send all the the nearby restaurant data that all those things will be fetched from the restaurant service so we will write a cedars we will dump a lot of uh, dummy data inside the restaurant service and then we will also have a elastic search attached to the restaurant service because i'm doing a blind search okay give me all the restaurant give me uh, the subway nearby me all those blind search we are going to do so a lot of uh, back-end work is there and a lot of uh, uh, skill set is required to build that uh, elastic search schema also if you want a random search for the user okay so let's get started first with the react uh, typescript here we are using next.js and if this is already a popular framework for ssr People are using it, whoever is good at React started using Next.js. For styling, I don't want it to use a heavy lifting, a heavy weight styling like material and all. Want to go simple with the Tailwind, we are going to use Tailwind utilities. We may look into the documentation, okay, what is the class provided for this, that. It's not like I remember all the classes in my head. And then GraphQL integration, because for me, my uh, next JS APIs can either talk to the rest or GraphQL so I will expose the GraphQL interface from the next JS app so we can talk to the GraphQL interface and then you can use any kind of uh, library with this uh, react application okay so let's get started with this setup first <laughs> 